You folks at home, don't misread this. You know, they, they must think we're giving away coupons or something. Oh, this is great. One of our best crowds. They're or, wonderful. Or bank I should have mentioned, along with Barbara Mandrell, joining her in a duet is Lee Greenwood, who is also... Okay. Very pretty. Did you have a good uh, Very last, nice. last few days? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I was thinking of something today, and I think it's time that this is, is really done. Um, we're both in the public eye. Yes. You know, we've been on television a, a, a lot of years. 26 years. And, uh, well, don't ever, don't ever tell them how long. Why not? They'll, get, they'll catch on one night. <laughs> you think they haven't? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think this is, uh, because we are in the public eye and people watch us, uh, they want to trust us uh, as a performer, and I don't have to do that, but I, I think I have a responsibility, maybe more than that, uh, a sacred duty, uh, to make a complete disclosure of my assets and liabilities. I, I'm going to do this tonight, and I, I believe all entertainers have a right, or should a duty, yeah, duty let the American right, public to make public, yeah. or through their representatives, their, their financial disclosures. Really the honorable thing to do. That's right. So I'm challenging, challenging all of you other entertainers <laughs> watching tonight, like Alan Alda, yeah. uh, name the biggest entertainers, yeah. uh, Larry Hagman, right. uh, Mr. T, right. uh, to... In fact, I'm going to throw down the gauntlet. I think that's what they say, right? Yes. Now, have you ever seen anybody throw down... A gauntlet? You hear that? I've thrown down the gauntlet. All right, here's a gauntlet. That's what a gauntlet is. Yes. It's a protective covering for, right. you know, so far. Right. All right. The challenge is... All right. I've thrown... I had my accountants prepare these papers. Uh, they spent for the last two days, this last weekend, going over my uh, rather tangled affairs. <laughs> My accountant uh, works for, I know they're, you know this firm, Ghana Swindle and Finagle. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I'll just go over some of the, uh, some of the financial. Now, I, I'll admit, I do have a corporation. Sure. You pro probably have right. a corporation. I do, there. yes. I leave it to your discretion later on this week if you want to uh, come out with what I'll you I'll see mentioned. what you say, and then I'll decide. All right. <laughs> My corporation is the Easy Come, Easy Go Incorporated. <laughs> Last year, I made $850 million from NBC in wages. Now, that seems like a lot. <laughs> $850 million. But it, it varies from year to year because my salary is pegged to the birth control device sales in the Yukon. <laughs> and last year, two machines jammed in a lumber camp near Dawson, and I took a real bath. <laughs> I'm going to declare everything. Last year, I made $1,075 in tips, uh, thanks to the generosity of members of our of our studio audience. And I'll leave it to your discretion as you leave tonight. I'm just going to go over some of the highlights. Uh, just filing status, single, yes. and head of the household. Because uh, I have legally adopted the harmonic cats. <laughs> Present home address. Now, that is an open space in the yellow loading zone in front of the Jack in the Box on the Pacific Coast Highway <laughs> in Malibu. Now, I want to point out, since I became host of The Tonight Show, I have put all of my cash. Now, you've heard the term blind trust. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite go that far. <laughs> I put mine into a nearsighted trust. <laughs> A fellow, an accountant who has 2,200 vision, uh, comes and picks up my check on Friday. For the last 12 years, I found out that he's been depositing it uh, in a photomat booth across the uh, So there's been some, uh, some losses there. Interest income. Well, what? Just go. Oh. I get no interest whatsoever on my savings because I keep it in Switzerland. Uh, they're not really Switzerland. It's in the Vatican under a Swiss guard's hat. Uh, but it's uh, pretty safe there. My accountants... Look, you try this. You don't know. There's no guarantee in comedy. It's, if anything, it's certainly tight. The only thing sure in life are death and taxes. Comedy is not in there. No. So you try it and you go with it. My accountants put a quarter million dollars 
into T-bills. There they are, right there. <laughs> You have to go to props, you know you're not sure. Now, several years ago, I want to put this on the record, I loaned $500,000 to my nephew. Now, that was a legitimate loan, and I did charge him interest. Uh, it's payable in mayonnaise, but it is interest. Red funny. I've decided I'm not going to do mine. <laughs> this as a comedy book? Didn't I just say I was going to make my finances known? Yes. I didn't say amusingly. No. The gauntlet got the biggest laugh. <laughs> sure. Just crank it in, crank it out. What do you care, Peter? <laughs> Employee business expenses. Let's see. $18,000 to, to Ed. Yeah. And that was for those little... Uh, Plastic spears to grab cocktail winnies. Remember, you're under eighteen thousand. Two hundred ninety-five thousand dollars for bailing out the band. Four dollars seventy-five cents for Tommy's wardrobe. Exemptions. Now I took one exemption for myself. Also took four exemptions for my four other dependents, the Quasimodo quadruplets. Uh, you met them. They're four sisters, Mokanabo, who are staying with me. <laughs> Trying to make it in show business, and I think they will. <laughs> Just because I'm about to check this out, I'm going to save your time and my time, too. <laughs> it's more, more detailed than I thought. Uh, well, I'm editing as I oh, go I along. Okay, yeah. okay, research and development. Yeah. Legitimate deductions. Uh, well, tax shelter, really. I hired a team made up of ex-Mattel toy company scientists and ex-Italian soldiers to develop an upside-down Mussolini Cabbage Patch doll, which did not, did not do well. It's the same group that gave you a standing ovation. Yeah. And they're, and they're asking themselves right now, why? <laughs> Come on, give me a break. There must be one more. I don't give up easy. Political contribution. Oh, I donated fifteen thousand dollars this year to the stars for Harold Stassen Telethon. <laughs> Charities. At the airport, I gave six dollars to Harry Christmas. And Three dollars to Harry Reasoner. He carried my bag. He deserved my tip. Let's see. Uh, Blackmail. That was payable to Ed. I uh, got in some bad investments. You can deduct those, right? I owe the uh, I own the Honey Bakes Ham franchise in Israel. Here's a twenty-five hundred dollar loss. I operated a concession stand at the Olympics that sold only Russian flags. I invested. You don't even know this. $300,000 in a new beer company went no place. Oh, Bud Heavy. Did you spend any money on comedy writers? <laughs> you must be loaded. <laughs> You must really have it stacked. Anybody ever came to you for oil and gas drilling and cattle raising investments? Yeah, I got into a real loser. Drilling for cattle. <laughs> I don't think I... I had another couple of things here, but I don't think it's really necessary to go on with this. It's always, it's always good you told me to close with a real suckle piece at the end of a piece of comedy material, hit him with one that really leaves him in the aisle. So, go ahead. Why, the, why did I just bring out the new announcer? <laughs> Doctor? <laughs> Doctor, play taps. Guess too late. We'll be right back.
Jimmy Stewart in just a minute. 